Yo, what's going on guys? Crispy Flakes here. So when it comes to the Los Angeles Lakers, really last season up until the end of the NBA offseason, you kept on hearing how the Lakers need to go for that third star player. How they need to go for like a Bradley Beal or trying to make cap space to sign Giannis, stuff like that, bro. Well, in my honest opinion, for one, I do think the Lakers have one of the best off-seasons. It's not the best off-season, especially considering that they just won an NBA championship. You know, they've done moves that I think really ensures they repeat, man. I really think they're going to repeat, and I'm not trying, you know, disrespect your franchise. I just think that's how the Lakers are going to be this NBA season, guys. But it turns out they might not need that Bradley Beal or Giannis or that Derrick Rose. They have a guy in this roster that's been absolutely lightening up the NBA preseason, man. Taylor horton tucker guys if you know you know this guy has been an absolute beast so for today's video what we are going to do is we are actually going to treat Taylor horton tucker like that second coming of jesus and we are going to make him the third superstar all-star whatever option whatever really turns out being on this lakers team man so before we get going on today's video you guys to drop that like and of course subscribe if you're new to the channel and uh yeah man let's go ahead and get going on this so we do have the los angeles lakers now, obviously, this is called Rebuild, but uh, it's more of a challenge. It's more seeing, like, can we actually make a guy like Taylor Horton Tucker a superstar caliber player in the NBA? So, he's 20 years of age. Um, last NBA season, averaged 6 points, 1 rebound, 1 assist per game, 1 steal. Now, I believe he had some injury issues last season, which is why he didn't really play. But uh, in the preseason, he's been averaging, like, damn, 30 points per game. You look at his style of play, like, he plays, he's he's literally the perfect shooting guard for this team, playing off of, you know, um, great passing of LeBron James, Marcus Saul, you know, players like that, man. Just because he can cut to the basket, he can finish at the basket, but he can also knock out 3-point shots, play some defense. He's a fantastic player, man. I really do have high hopes for this kid right here, guys. So, yes, uh, he he is going to be in the starting lineup for today's video right now we have wesley matthews listed right there but uh there's still some things in this rebuild or in this team that i do want to change going into the season because kuzma is another guy that's been beast and i'm probably going to use him off the bench though for this video we'll kind of see about that um just because there's not like high room for him in the starting lineup i guess we could go point guard lebron james and then we could put kyle kuzma but i love kuzma off the bench just as like that go-to score i feel like him playing with like schroeder and uh marcus Saul, anthony davis how are you matris harrell however we do this um we're between these two guys is uh, going to be highly beneficial for the squad, man. So, yeah, I heard there was talks that Dennis Schroeder is going to be starting, but uh, I still personally love him as a six-man. I just feel like that's kind of like his best skill set is being that six-man in the NBA himself, right, man? So, the first thing we're going to do is try to get ourselves a brand-new point guard. And I know I, you know, I talked about Derrick Rose, but uh, I think Derrick Rose on the Lakers still makes a lot of sense, especially with Schroeder, just because they are both guys that I th feel like are comfortable playing, like, 25 to 30 minutes per game and they're both gonna give you high efficiency so it pretty much guarantees you always have a really good point guard on the court right man so um here we go let's go ahead hit up the trade finder and see what exactly we can get to get derrick rose on the los angeles lakers 7.68 million dollar contract only on one season so the money should definitely work out and uh yeah we don't got like too much to offer up um you can have Wesley Matthews, because we got Taylor Horn Tucker playing. Now we don't really need Wesley Matthews anymore, so we'll give you him. That will be fantastic. We will give you... Yikes. Okay, um, I guess you guys can have Markeith Morris back. Is that enough? Okay, we got to toss in somebody else. Okay, well, let's toss in... Uh, Ra uh, that's actually way too much money. Uh, Musa is $2 million. Now that's not enough. Damn, bro, this is actually going to be a little difficult to do right here. Uh, based off the money situation. What about Josh Jackson? There we go. There we go. And still way too much money. Okay, well, let's toss in a... Uh, we might be a little more creative here with the trade. I ain't, do, I ain't trying to do KCP. There was actual talks of Caruso to the Pistons. I feel like Laker fans would probably throw a fit if I traded Caruso. But if it means getting Derrick Rose. Plus, you know, we got to separate the two. Because it's because Caruso and Taylor Horton Tucker play the same position, man. So it's like, you know, for Taylor Tucker, Horton Tucker. Can I just call him Taylor? Can I just call, I'm just going to call him Tucker, man. I'm calling Horton. Horton has a who? Y'all remember that? Dr. Seuss. Uh, I'm going to call him Horton, guys. No, I'm not. I'll probably call him THT or something. For him to be great, he cannot have that pressure of Alex Caruso, you know, breathing down his back, man. So we're going to do this right here. And uh, it's probably still not going to work. Damn, bro. This is really actually kind of frustrating. I was like, all right, I'm going to do this trade. It's going to be great. Really? We still not enough? $1.3 million. Okay, man. Derrick Rose might not actually be happening. Uh, let me go to the trade finder. Same thing pops up. They're going to they're gonna try to get Kuzma, though, man. They are going to try to get Kuzma in exchange for D. Rose, which is a Piston fan I would actually do. But uh, we'll see about this. So we got Schroeder, Montrez, Kyle Kuzma, Schroeder, Taylor Horton, and Schro KCP. I can't do it, man. 
all right derrick rose might not be the answer for this video here guys i just thought i just figured he would have been a great point guard to get at a really really cheap price so let's look for another point guard to get um petty mills seems kind of interesting i actually think that we could probably get the man where's he at where's he at uh Devontae grant for pretty cheap because obviously they got lamello ball eventually they're gonna want to give the reins of the team to him i mean there's terry rozier on this team so they got three point guards they don't need all the point guards right man so uh really i would take terry rozier or Devontae grant if i can get like scary terry in exchange for like kcp that would just be amazing i don't think it's gonna happen yeah they also want dennis schroeder montrez marcus all schroeder okay we're not doing that Devontae graham by himself what does that give us schroeder montrez and then once again Taylor horton so what if i do this but i take Taylor horton out of the trade and i toss in the man caruso is this gonna be enough and uh not enough so what if i also toss in a future first round pick that's gotta be enough man one and a half stars that, that enough still not enough okay what about also a second round pick it's gotta be enough man come on now still not enough man it's, i mean you already got you already got a point guard another one still not enough another second round pick unprotected there we go guys so we gave him some second round picks we got Devontae graham who i actually think is the perfect player to start because it's like you're cool with Devontae not closing out the game but at the same time he's gonna play nicely off lebron james you know just like shooting and stuff like that so and then uh schroeder can come in and be the closing point guard like he probably wants to be and it's perfect man so we got that um wesley matthews i think i might have to trade just because he's pissing me off at this point he's trying to take taylor horton's spot but uh now we'll get that all fixed right there so get that swapped out Marcus Gasol definitely should be the starter over Montrez. Montrez is just better off the bench, man. It's just how he is. A high energy guy like that. Like, you don't want that with the starters wasting the energy, right? Like, you want him in that second unit. We got Schroeder, Kuzma, KCP. Uh, I think he probably gets some minutes. We'll get him at like 10 minutes per game. I'm kind of okay with that. You right there. Kuzma got to be bumped up in the rotation also. We got so many great players on this team here, man, that uh, it's kind of difficult to like decipher like what exactly we want to do Taylor Horn gotta be playing 32 because we gotta treat him like that second superstar right guys and then we'll go probably this split minutes right there let's get Kuzma at 18 there we go and that is rotation right there man that is gonna be the team for this season right here this I mean this this is a damn repeat if you ask me man it's the team's already a repeat if you ask me but nobody asked me man why didn't you ask me man no okay so uh we got that going for us real quick here let's make sure the tendencies are good because we do want uh Horton you know shooting some shots out there so we are going to get his shot tendencies only at a 30 damn bro we want this guy shooting it man Taylor horton tucker bro tucker the chucker i like it getting him at like a 90 uh, i want to make sure he's shooting threes what's his mid-range shot at too that's at a only a 20 i guess players don't really shoot as many mid range shots as they use so we'll put him at like a 30 for that and uh, we definitely want him shooting more three pointers it's at a 72 that's fantastic okay Taylor horton tucker there we go so as far as like what we want to run for our um defense i guess we'll first score an option you know what treat him like that star taylor horton go to second anthony davis third lebron james we want to go ahead and probably get shooters open shoot at will i love it i might be destroying the lakers by doing this guys it's all good though man y'all want a championship we can experiment three and a half star perimeter centric team uh taylor 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 <laughs> does not like that post centric's not bad his goes up there seven second is pretty nice defense we got balance grit and grind pace and space is he not a good i mean he's a good shooter so i don't know why he's like not liking some of that stuff uh seven second looks like probably the way to go so let's rock it out with that man okay i mean we're gonna simulate this first season see how this laker team does and kind of go from there okay so we are at like march 26 guys we currently have a record of 32 and uh 21 which is not exactly like scream repeat to me um i'm feeling like putting Taylor as the first scoring option might have been a little bit of a jump for the young blood out there you know putting him as a scoring option over lebron and anthony davis because it's not really going to be his role this season it's going to be like if he does play is to be like a third scoring option right man so let's go ahead real quick here see how see what the actual player sets are looking like for him and uh we'll kind of go from there so on the season is he leading scorer he's not but he is averaging 18 points four rebounds two assists so it's really not even affecting anthony davis and lebron james um all that much the team's just not playing good he's actually only shooting 38 percent field goal percentage why is he playing so bad he's got like a good three-point shot in mid-range game so that's kind of disrespect from 2k man but uh hopefully that can fix itself in time okay you know what um i don't want to give up on him yet man but let's go to the back to the coach game plan and we are going to go and probably switch this up a little bit we are going to put you know we'll do this taylor horn tucker right there 
uh, LeBron James right there. So, you know, we can still, like, distribute the basketball to everybody. And we'll put Anthony Davis as the first scoring option. Let's finish the season. Because, you know what? Championship over stats, right, man? So, let's go ahead and uh, win ourselves a championship, hopefully. Okay, so that was definitely worth switching that up, guys. A record of 56 and 25. One more game against the Phoenix Suns. Simulate through date and finish an L on the season. So, that's fantastic, man. Uh, Giannis MVP. LaMelo Rookie of the Year. Spencer Dinwiddie, six man. Giannis Defensive Player. John Moran most improved. I mean, he averaged 25 and 9, which is really good, but it's like, like his scoring's up from last year and like his assists up a little bit. I guess his efficiency's up to by 10%, but still, man, Taylor Horton shouldn't got that. No doubt in my mind, man. So all NBA first, all NBA second, all NBA third looking like that. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead. We are the first seed in the Western Conference. Score the player stats on the season. See how Taylor ended up doing. Not the rookie report. Although, yeah, he's not considered a rookie because he did play a little bit last season. But uh, finished with 18 points. Four rebounds, two assists per game, 38%. How do I up that, man? 35% from three. How do I up that and make that make him more of a, an efficient player? Um, I don't really know. His per 36 is pretty good, too. But, uh, yeah, hopefully next season he'll be better with that, right? So let's go ahead and get going on the simulation. Simulate playoffs because I want to do a few seasons right here because that's the kind of the goal of this video is to see if Taylor Horton can be like that next big thing. And we do win the championship, guys. We do repeat right here. LeBron James as your finals MVP. Taylor in the closeout game at uh, 18 points. Three rebounds, two assists on eight for 12 shooting. You love to see it, man. So here we go. Um, this offseason, I mean, there will probably be a few changes, but uh, it's really going to be about the continued development of Taylor. So, Taylor, Taylor, Taylor. I think about that guy, from the, 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 the kid from Home Improvement, man, like uh, Jonathan Taylor, right? I don't know why I think of his name every single time. But that's just kind of how it's been. So, head scout, uh, we got B scout. I'm kind of okay with that. Um, yeah, he should be fine for us. Uh, let's go to the NBA draft because we should have a draft pick this year. So sim to user pick and we do have the 30th pick in the draft, man. You'll love to see it. So who can we get right here to uh, add to the plateau of players? Plateau? Platoon? I don't really know. Uh, let's just go with best available. We got Al Williamson. I like it, man. 6'2 point guard with a 6'7 wingspan. You'll love to see it. Okay, so we get him signed up to the team. There we go. There we go. And uh, he is a 73 overall player. Team player options. Montrez back. No, I'm sorry. He declined. He's only on a one-year contract? Oh, he's got the player option for the second year. That's right, man. So, Cody Martin, that's actually not a bad signing. But I don't really need him. So, definitely want to get Trez back on this team. Uh, Devante, Taylor, we also got to extend him. And Kyle Kuzma. So, we definitely have a lot of money to be due this NBA season right here, guys. Let's go to the bird rights. Make sure we get all these guys back. And it looks like Taylor is not like a restricted player or something man so i oh i hope we can get him back if we cannot get him back i'm just gonna trade for him back because that'd be really stupid to uh do this and we can't actually get him back in the video so yes available players uh montrez wants 17 million i think he's kind of worth that payday no doubt so we'll give him that right there uh let's go with uh dennis schroeder back and of course kyle kuzma kuzma only wants 10 million dollars a season that's actually a freaking steal man so we'll get those guys back and then Taylor, we still have the cap hold on him. Let's get out of the moratorium period here. I want to make sure we don't, uh, you know, renounce rights on accident or something. So, all right. There we go. Where is Taylor? Taylor, okay, oh, he wants $30 million? Okay, man, I'm totally not going to just put him on the team, guys. I'm, to I'm, I'm totally just not going to do that, okay, man? I'll see you guys at the beginning of the next NBA offseason, or season, season. So we do have three training camps. Uh, he actually did end up just signing the qualifying offer. I forgot he had that, man. So he's on the team for $6 million. But uh, offensive fundamentals is going to up his offensive consistency. So I think that's probably the way to go for right now. So let's give him that. 80 overall player. Um, so yeah, offensive consistency up to win 86. Hands go up, driving, dunk, driving, layup, which is all good things for him to have. Let's go untap potential. We'll use that on uh, Kyle Kuzma. Why not, man? Maybe we can get even better. And let's go untapped on Devante Graham. Also, I believe Marcus all either retired or he went to a different team. So uh, we're going to have to kind of address the backup center role. Because, well, even like, oh, yeah, Felicio definitely not be the starting center, man. Because, like, Montrez, I just like him off the bench, man. I still like this for, like, our bench rotation. So I'm going to try uh, training, like, KCP away, I think. It's probably the way to go right now. Because um, Kuzma can also play backup small forward if needed. So, yeah, KCP will toss in Felicio. Because I don't want him anywhere near the team. And a second round pick. See if we can get ourselves a decent center. Brook Lopez really should never have lost, uh, left the Lakers anyway. But that's literally the perfect player to get. You know, we can't find, find anybody else out here on the squad. Notice the Lakers offense. Um, did he play with LeBron? I don't remember. Christian Wood. And eh, I'd rather have uh, Brook Lopez for this specific team. How old is Brook? He's 33. Two years left on his contract. Yeah, that's literally like the perfect window for this team. So here we go. Got him signed up. 
All right, so same starting five except Brook Lopez, Montrez, Schroeder, Kuzma, eight man rotation. I like it. Taylor playing a lot of minutes, man. So we do know after this season, he's going to be looking for a damn $30 million contract. Hopefully, we got right on him after that, but I don't think we will. But yeah, he's out 34 minutes, and uh, this is perfect, guys. I mean, we lost last. No, we won last year. So we're actually going for a three-peat on this one, man. Uh, this time, I think we're just going to go ahead and uh, stick it out with the... Uh, where are we at? Where are we at? Yeah, with this, where I, I think I'm just going to go like no preference. And like whoever wants the ball out can ball out. And we'll be good with that, man. So, like, if some games Taylor takes over, that's nice. But hopefully, I'm hoping that uh, his just his efficiency can go up, right, guys? That's hopefully a big time focus for him. So, once again, man, let's simulate this next NBA season. He's already looking like not like a superstar or all star yet, but definitely like that next future big thing. Okay, so 61 and 20 this time around. That was with like the adjusted, like, okay, well, Taylor Horn probably should not start off as the first option of the team. Adjust him at this season, guys. So, plus uh, five games in the win department. Simulate through date. Finish with the W on the season. LeBron MVP. This could be his final season. Like, I think he's, I think his contract's at least up, right? So, we got to make a choice right there with that. All-NBA first, All-NBA second, All-NBA third. Still no Taylor Horn making the All-NBA team, but it's all good, man. Uh, we are the first seed in the Western Conference. Player stats on the season. So, this time, Taylor second leading scorer over Anthony Davis, guys. Imagine that at 22 points, 5 rebounds, 3 assists. Um, up 43% in his field goal percentage. So, pretty good right there, man. And uh, he shot 41% from three off 10 attempts. This guy is launching the three-point shot up there, man. So, um, yeah, the goal is hopefully, like, like once LeBron retires, it's like, all right, Taylor can kind of take over. So, let's continue with this simulation, guys. Like I said, I want to do quite a few seasons right here, man. I really want to see what his potential really is. Um, and, okay, we lost in the Western Conference Finals. Nets win it all. That's fine. We won two in a row. Um, cannot win every single season. Not really too upset about that. But we're going to go straight to... Team player options, please, Taylor. Have like a player option. Just come back to the team. That'd be fantastic. No, it's uh, probably not gonna be that easy. Once again, has a qualifying offer, man. And as we do know, we do not have rights to him. So, ugh, okay. Oh no, we do. We do have bird rights. Okay, at eighteen million dollars, which I will definitely give him for your contract. No, I'll give it up a little bit, man. There we go. Give him that right there. Let's get uh, Devontae Graham his money too, because he's been pretty damn nice. There we go. Both those guys agree. Also, Kuzma is on the books now too. Uh, I want to make sure I get him, and it's going to make me give them probably the one-year deals. Okay, that's fine. I mean, I'm not, like, upset about that. Uh, where is Kuzma at? I don't think we have rights to Kuzma, guys. Oh, we do. Okay, we do have Kuzma, so I'll get him back on the team. He signed up. All right. I think we're good. I don't really have any big-time changes to make right now. You know what? Daniel Tice is always nice. Let's get him, guys. It's a really cheap contract. He goes up to, like, an 80 overall at the power forward spot, so I like the idea of that. All right, man, going to go ahead and simulate to the beginning of the regular season. Okay, guys, so we have the same exact starting five. I think Taylor is starting to kind of like uh, teether off a little bit. Like, 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 like it feels like he's kind of reached his potential. Isn't there like a, uh, a thing for that where it tells you like how much, yeah, progression. Here we go. So he's not up too much from the past two or three seasons going into his fourth year in the NBA. I'm just hoping, I've been using training camps and stuff on him, man, so hopefully he has not plateaued. But, uh, yeah, he still played really nice last year as a second leading scorer, so we got that for our bench unit. Once again, man, let's simulate this next season and see what happens. All right, 51 and 30 this time around. So, you know, minus 10 in the win department, but uh, LeBron's getting old, man. LeBron's getting old, and hopefully Taylor's up to like an 84 overall now. Uh, simulate through day finish with a W on the season. Giannis is MVP on the Knicks, at least he's not in our conference anymore. We got uh, All-NBA first, LeBron still making that, All-NBA second with AD, and All-NBA third looking like that, man. So, uh, we are the third seed in the Western Conference. That's okay, that's okay. Player stats on the season, not rookie. I don't know why, I literally click on rookie every single time. Uh, what do we got here, man? So, Taylor is now the leading scorer, up to an 83 overall, scoring 22 points, 4 rebounds, 3 assists per game. Field goal percentage, still not great, but the 3-point shot's good, so... I don't really get it, man, because, like, he's got a decent mid-range shot. He can finish around the basket, so I would expect it to be a little bit higher. But, yeah, um, Anthony Davis kind of falling off at the age of 30. Not going to lie. Like, 20 and 12 is still good numbers, but that's like uh, like Zach Randolph stuff, man. And I think better things of Anthony Davis than Zach Randolph, in my own opinion. So, here we go. Uh, we got the Phoenix Suns. Let's go ahead and simulate these playoffs and see what happens, man. Looking, uh, okay, we almost lost. Okay, we're looking good. There we go. Hey, look at that, man. Three championships out of four seasons so far. LeBron at the age of 38. One year left on his contract, man. Taylor Horton in that closeout game. 37, 8, and 4. Yes, sir, man. Damn, bro. How is he not a damn 93 overall yet? 
I don't really know, but he is doing perfect things for this team. Okay, so moving on up, guys. We are going right to our free agency, man. We ain't playing around over here, guys. Taylor Horton, the legacy continues. Okay, so LeBron is actually off the books now. I mean, I feel like I got to resign him, right? Like, I can't play around. Taylor Horton also off the books, too. He's restricted, though, so we got that going for us. LeBron has 12 offers. You know what, man? I can only do one year. You know what? It's LeBron James, man. It is LeBron James, man. I'm doing it. Because you know what? I will sign him. And then it's like, if he wants to retire, that's fine. But this guarantees I get him until the end of his career. That's what it guarantees. And I'm paying him his money. He might actually stay around for that long. I know I would. I ain't freaking leaving no damn $46 million on the, on the table at the damn age of 97. Okay, so we got LeBron. Uh, let's make sure we can get our other guy back. Taylor Horton. There we go. Restricted. Yeah, this guy's getting himself a payday, man. I know he's restricted, but we're still going to get him back on the team. Uh, who else I want to go for? Devontae. Get him back for sure. I mean, I feel like he's a big part of this team now in his career. Okay. Uh, Brooke Lopez is 35. We'll give him the two-year deal. That should be decent. Hopefully, he signs it. There we go. And outside of that, man, uh, we actually got a little bit of money left here to work with, too. Let's go ahead and get a, uh, I don't know. You know what? Give me Dylan Windler. He's got win in his name. That's what we're trying to do. We're trying to win, man. We are trying to win, guys. I don't like the name. I don't like the word Windler. Just doesn't make me feel happy. Okay, uh, let's go ahead, guys, and simulate to the beginning of the regular season. Okay, this is the lineup, guys, going into what is probably the final season of this rebuild. Because I feel like at this point, uh, Talon has just kind of plateaued. I mean, 84 overall player and uh, not really progressing from year to year. He's literally been the same range since like the third year or whatever. So that's kind of how like the boomer bus system works in 2K where it's like sometimes guys will become superstars. Sometimes they will just stop right there, which I mean, 84 overall for Taylor Horton, like you can't really complain about that, man. So let's simulate this final season, see what type of stat line he puts up. He's like 37 minutes per game. And uh, yeah, I mean, we won three championships out of four years, so we can't really be met too mad. Alrighty, guys. So based off our record, we definitely put a little bit too much stock in the old ass LeBron James, 48 and 33. It's 40 and 33, man. Simulate uh, through day right here. Finish the W on the season. Luka Doncic, MVP. Jalen Duran? Duran. I cannot say that last name. Duran. 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 I hate it. I hate it, man. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, same Van Gundy, coach of the year. Good for that, man. Okay, you couldn't do that in Detroit, though, could you? All NBA second, all NBA third. So we don't got no Taylor Horton this time around. But uh, we are the fourth seed in the Western Conference, man. Let's go to these player stats again, see how the man's doing. See if he's up and rating. Give me an 85. Can I get an 85 overall? Can I get an 85 overall? 85 overall, man, at 26 points. Ooh, damn, he can score that basketball. And what I love it too, man, is that he's learning. 47% field goal efficiency. 46% from three. It almost makes me want to simulate another season because he's only 23. Um, but I think we're probably going to call it quits after this year, guys. Let's go ahead and simulate these playoffs. Simulate round. I think it just kind of shows you the... I'll see you guys at the end of next season. Just going to announce that uh, Taylor Horton is now the best player on this team, guys. LeBron James has retired from the game of basketball. Anthony Davis decided to take his talents elsewhere, guys. This is literally make it or break it time for this team out here, guys. It's make it or break it time, guys. Okay, so Taylor has to carry the squad. He is going to play all the minutes. All the minutes, man. We got Kuzma out there finally starting. There we have it, guys. Okay. You know, and you know what? I'm sorry, Montrez. You guys start too, man. We got to have you starting out there, bro. I know you like coming off that bench like that, but this is the team. Taylor Tom, baby. All right, guys. Final season of the rebuild career simulation thing that's going on. I don't really know what this video is, man. 42 and 39. Uh, we are six in the conference. So Taylor, on his own and some other guys did uh, lead us to the playoffs at least, man. Did we get that most improved yet? Freaking Bryce Griggs? Hell no, nah, man. Bryce Griggs is a scrub, bro. Actually, I don't know who that is. It's probably some made-up guy, okay? Uh, but yes, we are the sixth seed this time around. Let's go with these players. Sad to see how Taylor did as the lone scoring option on this team. 26 points, 5 rebounds, 4 assists. Devontae was nice. I mean, the team's actually still pretty damn solid, which is why we made the playoffs. Up to an 86 overall at the age of 24. Three years away from his absolute prime, man. Let's simulate these playoffs and uh, losing that first round real quick to Luka Doncic. And uh, yeah, there you guys have it, man. So this is going to be the end of the video. I guess the point of this video is to say that, hey, maybe the Lakers don't have to trade anybody away to get another star on their team. It's very well he could be on the squad. Hopefully Frank Vogel can work Halen into the rotation this season. And it's not one of those cases where it's just this guy does amazing in the preseason. It's not giving a chance, man. Give the guy a chance, right? But that's all we got, man. Thank you all so much for watching. And peace out, my friends.